What's going on everybody? So went to go on to this SD card right here and I decided that all my video footage is not on there, no folders, can't format, nothing. So another SD card bites the dust. <laughs> so sorry I want to make footage of the show onto this. I did put the brand new one in for the uh, what do they call it? The Midwest Monster. I'll probably pick another one up on my way there throughout the week just so I have it as a backup as well. Ah, just crazy stuff, I'll tell you. Crazy stuff with these SD cards and video footage. So, overall, this is probably going to be my, a quicker video. I can tell you a lot of dealers did not come to this show for the fact they're setting up at the Midwest Monster this weekend, Friday and Saturday up in Indianapolis, Indiana. I did see, uh, I did get footage, oh, I had footage, I should say, of two dealers that were there with some nice cards. Sorry, I can't show you guys that stuff. Some crazy Barry Bonds autos. Um, uh, one of the very few Raphael Devers autos you'll see out there. Uh, there were some good conversations and everything. I did pick up one card right here. Topps Chrome, Carmelo Anthony Rookie. Fairly cheap, these are. So I figured I might as well grab something while I was there. Uh, what the heck. I did pretty good on sales. Moved to a good chunk of cards. So I was happy there as well. But what I found out was um, Fanatics. Let's talk Fanatics in this video. Earlier this week, I had a conversation with two guys. I know it opened card shops up. One has had it for a long time. The other... I want to say maybe a year, year and a half, COVID opening card shop, right? So the one that's been open for a while has a Fanatics account. And they order like the autographed jerseys, all that stuff from them. Said he was getting allocations already for next year for uh, Tops products. I was like, what? So kind of shocking to hear that. I was like, I thought maybe he was messing with me, stuff like that there. Talked to the other guys like I opened an account, but. I haven't had anything, but, you know, there's been different words in the streets out there about fanatics, and I think there may be some truth to what I've been hearing. So, overall, I'm hearing that if you are a shop and you've had a fanatics count before, you're starting to receive allocation for product next year. The newer shops, not so much because they're 0 for 2 from what I've heard, while the guys that have been there for a long time are 2 for 2. Surprising? Maybe. Uh, what I can say um, is that all this stuff, I mean, I didn't get to see the allocation order stuff like that there, but I don't see why anybody would, you know, come up with that crazy story, especially now that it's by multiple people. I see this being very bad in the way that a lot of distribution channels you used to get stuff heavy from direct from tops and uh, tops, not Panini as much so right now. Won't be seeing those large allocations anymore. What that means? A lot of breakers are gonna have to either resource or stop breaking. That is the big key part. It looks like Fanatics is staying true to their real word. They want to distribute directly to the shops, which is good. Um, the brick and mortars out there. If you're an online store, I'm guessing that's a no-go. I sit there thinking about it. I don't know what Fanatics is going to do. It didn't look like uh, Josh Luber was too impressed with watching breaks and how they were being done. So I don't know if he's really down with that part. You do have to admit that with breakers, whether you love them or hate them, they help push a lot of product through the years, a lot, especially during the dry spells, pre-COVID, all that stuff. But I can say that there's going to be a big change in the hobby starting next year. I don't care how much people pump the National, being in Atlantic City, gosh, that's going to be just a cluster, and I'm just going to censor myself right there. <laughs> It, I could just see this going bad. Everybody's going to be like, oh, the market's alive. It's alive. We're doing well. You could say that all you want, but I could tell you from going to these card shows, very, very, unless you're willing to will and deal as a dealer, 
it's going to be hard unless you have something that nobody else has there. The guy has the interest, so supply versus demand type deal, the rarity and all that stuff. It, I think it's going to turn completely. I see a lot of dealers I don't think are going to be doing this anymore. I, my conversations with some gentlemen who own shops is that, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of shops go under. I don't know if it'll be next year or the year after, but survival of the fittest type deal. And I could see them having to cash out, whether they throw all their stuff on eBay and put the work in, which I highly doubt, to just saying, hey, we got 30% off sale, 40% off sale, 50% off sale, whatever it may be, or just sell it outright to other people. We take that away from the brick and mortars and we start looking at dealer tables. Every show for the past four weeks, I've heard a lot of people not doing sales. Not doing well at shows. I've heard some people do well, some don't. I think it depends on what you have and your pricing, of course, onto it. But I think a lot of people are going to either take their stuff, lock it away, and hopefully it goes up down the road five, ten years. I don't know. Or they're going to have somebody in the background telling them, you need to either get rid of this now or I'm leaving type deal. But I, I see a big change overall. Not to discredit, I wish I had the footage from the Louisville card show for you guys. Oh, it just, it irks me no end that that SD card was no good. Even though it showed it and registered, recorded and all that stuff. But it, it was some interesting conversations that, you know... It would have been really good to hear, just not from my viewpoint, but from others that have been doing this for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you know. Uh, Card show, was it was fairly good. It was some heavy traffic in there. A lot of people interested in stuff. A lot of people, you know, want more than even 10% off. Like, it's still the same thing, 20, 30, 40%. You just let them walk by. Just like when I was talking with a lot of the older people been doing this for years. You know, we're used to the... Good times, the bad times, you know, and all that stuff. You just let it keep going. Flipping will come to a cease where people are trying to make that quick buck. And as I always said, I mean, if you made your buck and you didn't spend it, you're good. But if you're relying on always quick making quick money, it's going to come back to bite you. But very, a very good card show at Louisville again by J&J Sports. Um, the good traffic coming through there, I, I know he said that it was going to be rough because a lot of people, dealers, were not going to be there because of the monster this weekend. If you are going up to the monster, let me know. I'm going up Friday. Going up Friday, I'm going value box hunting. So if you want to come up there, we'll meet up for a little bit. I'll be there probably from like noon to maybe 3, 4, 5, I don't know. Um might be one of them days where it might be grab dinner and leave type deal too. We'll see how it is up there. I'm going to try to get more footage. I'm going to even take footage from my cell phone this time just so I have footage coming back. I may even go live from there, so just keep an eye out. Don't forget Newburgh is coming up this next weekend too. I'll be set up on Saturday, so I won't be at the Monster Saturday. But overall, there was some cool stuff there. Like I said, Bonds rookies, um... I'm trying to think, there was a nice vintage display I seen up in there. I'm trying to think what else there was now. I'm drawing a blank because of doing videos and being really upset on that SD card. But anyhow, wanted to share some thoughts with you guys. Uh, I know I kind of went into tangent with fanatics, but I wanted to put that out just so everybody can see. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not saying it's fact, but. I see a huge change, as I've been saying before. And what I can see happening is once this change comes into effect, two, three months later, everybody will be like, oh, look, here's my new videos on the change and stuff out there. It's going to be a big change. Uh, don't buy the hype of the National. Honestly, I would say don't even go to it because I could just see bad things being <laughs> happening out there. And when I say bad things, I'm talking about drinking, gambling, <laughs> Dealers coming in hungover, you know, into where it could lead to some rough patches out there. Same with sellers as well, too. But me, I'm not going to it. I'll be in Chicago next year. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. All right, guys. 
Take care. Have a good one. Sorry again about the footage. I've sat there and played around it here for about an hour, Googling it, and I can't figure it out. So SD card, number two, dead. All right, talk to y'all later.